Hello and welcome to Lucky. For this film snack episode, we're having a look at a silent, mostly, love story that takes place on a train. What's the tagline? L'amour è un treno. In English, for the audience. Have it in the notes. <laughs> okay, love is a train running on endless tracks and it's going to run you over unexpectedly. That's the tagline. Mm-hmm. That sounds ominous. Our characters here are two strangers traveling by train. They never do define what either character does. Not necessary for the story. Although, if we're going to be referring to the character... Hmm. Maybe just business dress. Leave it at that. Hmm. Close enough. A laid-back person in business dress. And a person with a blank book. The person with a blank book is sitting by a train window, passing the time with blank pages and a pencil. When the seat across from him is taken by another passenger, and he certainly notices his new seatmate. We see a montage of them sitting across from each other, as they each take a series of journeys on the same train. Same place. Same time. Same seats. Probably not the same pencil. They travel along in comfortable silence, each in their own worlds. Even though it's obvious to the audience, given a few quick glances, here and there, that both of them are curious about the other person sitting across from them, their silent companion. The silence is nearly broken, hold on to your seats, when the business person inquires about the time, but the question is answered by another passenger in the third seat, and the silence continues. Finally, the person with a blank book visits the train facilities and anxiously fusses over his appearance in the mirror before going to his usual spot by the window. But what is this? Someone else has taken his seat. Disaster. Presumably. Even his silent train companion seems puzzled by the change. But she offers her enigmatic companion the seat next to her. And off they go. The person with a blank book nervously gathers up the courage to say something to his silent seatmate. But what he has to say isn't something he says out loud. He turns to her and shows her what's in the book. Ah. Hmm. Bamal. Both actors play their roles well in telling what's essentially a completely wordless story. Apart from the end. This is a story told mainly through body language and scene montages, not through words, so there are no quotes of note to mention. What's important in this story is not what the characters say, but what they do. This applies in a specific way to one of the characters in particular. In all the time they've been traveling together, he hasn't spoken to his seatmate. And there's a reason for that. This was a quiet and mellow story about two strangers, both of whom can communicate what they're thinking without saying a word. It could also be a subtle commentary. That is, it's one take on the question of what is love or what is infatuation. Fair enough, but what is love? If it's unspoken and can't be defined in words, then how does one recognize it? And is love easier to decipher in the words people say or in the actions they take? Isn't there actually at least one relational hypothesis which tries to address this? Well, what's it called? Possibly the five love languages. That's the one. Proposing that love is actually expressed and read as love in different ways by different people. Words of affirmation, acts of service, and so on. Well, and that the language a person is speaking can also be misread. Yes, it's relevant. Wondering if we should include it. Well, we've got five minutes for the review. Related reading, maybe. Info box. Done. Meanwhile, back to these. Strangers on a train. How do these two particular characters define or recognize love? In this short film, the scriptwriters have answered this question in a very specific and mostly wordless way. But we think audiences will still be able to recognize it when they see it. Although the most intriguing question, of course, is what's in the book? You can find out in the short film. If you'd like to see Silent Love, you can watch it right here. Thanks for joining us. And see you in the next episode.